rabbit here. So we have a look at um, breadboard and module wiring options. So let's get into it. So let's have a look at the options. So I like using these types of cables often. Oh, this has a male and male end. And um, what you can do with these is that you can tear off individual um, cables for use. And then you have this variation, which actually has a female female. And then you have this kind of variation where you have male and or male and now female connector. So let's have a look and see how these are used. So when you're making connections on the breadboard itself, and it's um, usually these ones that are used, which is um, male male. So then you can plug it into one place and plug it into another. Of course, if you have very complicated breadboard um, circuitry, then this is not obviously not the optimal solution, but um, for most cases it works quite well. And then you have this cable variant, and um, this you can use, for example, to connect to the breadboard, and then you have like some kind of a module, and then you can um, you can actually plug it into the um, header pin like that. And it's quite easy to connect modules to um, to the breadboard, or you can actually have it connected to these kind of header header pins also. So they, they work. So like that. And then you have um, uh, this variant. So for example if you have a module which has header pins on it then you can actually go from there and then you can actually take another module and um, Thing like that. So, and then the other option to um, do connections on the breadboard is kind of you buy these um, pre made kits. So, you get um, uh, the small little tiny wires already pre cut for you. <coughs> and in this case, the color coding is how long they are. And then you can just um, use these to connect between the different locations. So it makes it a bit <coughs> neater than um, using the ones that I just showed you. And then the third option is you go completely custom. So you can buy these kind of reels of um, the same type of wire that's used in these kits. And you can get it in different colors, so I'm, I only am demonstrating one color here, but I have, I have a whole set of these. So you can usually buy them in sets of six or six different colors. And then of course the benefit of this is that you can, um, you can uh, take the cable and then you need to have some suitable clipping side clipper tool. So I'll just clean up the end here. Take that away. So then you can actually decide yourself, okay, how long do you want to have it in? And the, the bit that's going into the yeah, into the actual breadboard, it can be like a half a centimeter long, so it's not that critical. So then you can actually say, okay, I want to have exactly that length of exactly a specific color. And then using this kind of a wire stripping tool. This one can um, strip the ends. Like that. It's actually <laughs> a bit difficult to do it on the camera. They're not usually the way I do it. I have to keep keep it under the lens. lens. So anyway there we are. And then you get kind of your own custom cable. And then you can bend the ends 
and then you use them just like the ones that come with the kit. But in this case they're custom length and um, custom color. Oh, screwed that one up. Didn't I? I have to do it better. In, in relation to this, you can also, if you have a 3D printer, you can download templates for um, making the correct length cables that fit exactly on the, um, on the breadboard, like for different specific lengths. Oh, it's not easy doing this under the camera. In a totally wrong angle to even see if the cable's going in correctly. What a demonstration mess. There. Totally. What a mess. But anyway, no, it usually works out much better than trying to do trying to do it under the camera. So I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video, um, merch is available, or if you just want to buy me a cup of coffee, that's also possible. Uh, the links are in the description, and um, I'll see you in the next one.